looking for another puzzle, uh, ready for the next game. Last game was um, fairly interesting, so just preparing ourselves for the next one. Let's see what we have got here. Find the best move for white again. The best move for white. It doesn't mean it's a checkmate type thing, so instantly I'm looking first of all if there is a checkmate type thing. Does it not do? Oh, I'm on the wrong screen. <laughs> there we go. Bishop takes nothing, nothing fancy, nothing arty there. I can't see that. Best move for white. Queen has got protection on. This bishop doesn't have any protection on. I think that is a query. Bishop's got protection, that's got protection. The rook doesn't have any protection, but I don't think we can get there. X-ray through to the knight. Can we hit their queen somehow? Yes, but we haven't got any support. Can the queen attack the bishop? No. Pawn attacking the knight. Is that going to work? Smaller piece attacking a higher piece. Knight attacking the bishop. It's got to be something to do with this bishop. Because it doesn't have any protection. What else could it be? Queen again. No, no, no. Attack the bishop. Bishop has to go here. It doesn't have to. It could actually smash open the front of the king so maybe that's not the best move could take takes queen takes just got to check on yeah maybe it's not that one hurt the knight knight takes the bishop no i think this unprotected bishop is a question <laughs> Attacking the bishop. No, I suppose there. Maybe leave that bishop alone then. I don't see what any issues are with that knight. This knight move looks nice, but it's knight. Don't look like it's forcing anything. Again, you know, like in the last one, I'm looking for things forced and stuff. The early two, well, even the first move when the queen was exchanging didn't really look like a force. He could have just played without a queen. Anyway. Oh, what about? Is it being fancy? Let's have a look at rook taking the knight. What does that do? Is that anything? Don't think it is, is it? Bishop takes. No, that's a way too arty, dude. That's way too arty. I think it's going to be simpler than that, isn't it? Rook takes, no, knight. Knight attacking the bishop. Mm, no. No. Okay, think, think, think. Get a two on one on the knight with the bishop and the rook. Somehow. Move the knight somewhere. Let's move the knight there, get a two on one. That, oh, that's not forcing them. I mean, the rook just comes in defense, doesn't it? What is the meat on the bones here? Queen has got no, is it like. <clears throat> no forcing moves at all. No, I'm not doing that. Why do I keep going to that? That looks like it would cause more trouble than anything. Queen. Directly opposite. No, no, no. Queen takes. Mm, no. What is the deal here?
small pawn move, stopping and then going like this, hitting the bishop. That looks lame. That's too lame. Can't be that. Well, you know, I can't see anything here. Right. Open your eyes. Hmm. Do you know I'm plumping for the pawn attack in the night? Smaller piece attack and higher piece. Only place it can go safely is here. Can't go there, you can't go here. It could take the bishop, which is getting this light. It's not forcing because it could go all over the place. Well, it can go there, it can actually take a piece off the board. It's not really going to go there because the pawn takes it, so it's got the option of two, two spaces to go backwards or taking the bishop. And if it takes the bishop. The queen is not going to be. Well, mind you, it could take because the bishop's not going to take the pawn because the queen doesn't have any protection on. But again, it's not really forcing, is it? It's making the knight have to do something. So you'd think it would probably come and attack the bishop, but then it doesn't have to. It can go here. So what do you do then? take the knight off the board you still got options of all sorts maybe it's trying to attack this queen which doesn't have any protection on it but like i'm saying these that's not forcing the knight to actually take the bishop it does have a square to go to here so if it did go back you're not even going to push this pawn onto the bishop because the bishop can take the take and then the queen's in front of your king. Obviously the queen can come across, but still. There's too many variables. There must be a better one than that. That looks better, but it's just because it's like saying, okay, what are you doing with your knight? You know, so your knight has to do something. Or is it one of those where it's basically saying, because the, the, it looks like the knight's moved to here because it's already been attacked by the pawn. And is it one of those where you go, right, I'm moving the bishop out of the way, getting ready to take their queen somehow. So shall we look at the build on that? Bishop comes here with a check on the king. Doesn't have to take. Grand scheme of things, people would take, but... If it's a tactical thing, maybe they might just move the king out of the way. In any event, we win some sort of tempo, either the king's there or it moves to the side. Okay, so we've, we've gained some sort of response from the opponent. They've had to do something, whereas with the pawn push here, yes, the knight can move, but it looks safe. So that's done. So then, the next thing would be to attack the bishop maybe with the knight but still I mean the bishop is protected by the pawn 
So if the king did take, the queen can't come here and put a check on it. And the knight would still be here. Uh, that, that's a fancy way of like getting an yeah I see what they're doing I think bishop comes here if the king takes then the rook can take the knight and it's also on the bishop because if the bishop takes then they get the um, queen for free so that's the picture wow that took a while well that's what I believe it is it's the element of this queen being unprotected also the bishop being unprotected but how do we get there so i'm going to give it a go oh wrong move but there's nothing wrong with that idea well there is it's just that there's many variables you don't have to capture but still even if it you know it went there and he did move the king we still have that option of taking and the queen is still behind with no protection on bishop doesn't have to take obviously so then we can take the bishop here so because I've not chosen their specific move I don't really see anything wrong with that, that manoeuvre this is what I was talking about earlier in the previous in the previous puzzle, where there's sometimes other variables that you can actually utilize. I don't really see an issue with doing that. Goes there, king has to move, he either has to take it or move. So if some sort of tempo is won, you know, say if they did take, you know, because it's like, oh, well, I'm getting a piece. Then we take the knight. it's saying the queen moves can't move there because it'll get taken so if the well, it's not going to go there because the rook will take it I don't see a problem with that move at all I'm going to view the solution because I've done what I've needed to do let's see what it says oh it's gone straight to it <laughs> It's gone straight to it with the rook. So we had the right idea, but it's not messed about. It's just gone straight. Although I don't really like that one. Why, why don't I like that? Because, oh, ah, I see it. I see it. It's as clear as day now. Yeah, so once it's gone here, then if the bishop takes, then the bishop can go with the check on the king and win their queen. Although in reality, right, the way that I did ours, we were going to get the bishop as well. Is that not right? One here. Yeah, so go there. And then if he did take, say, for instance, I was saying go like this. So the bishop's not going to take because of, and he doesn't have any checks in our king, does he? He's not going to take because we'll get the queen for free. Yeah, so that's what I was showing. Right. And if they move the queen out of the way, so it's not going to go there. It can't come down and protect the bishop. Unless I'm missing something. I can't see that I am. If he just moves himself offline, then the rook takes the bishop. I must be completely missing something. Unless, of course, the rook gets trapped if you do that. So does the pawn push down or something? And then it's got nowhere to go? No, because if the pawn pushes down, then the queen just comes here. I must be doing something wrong, but I, I don't see any problem with the way that we had done it. That's the problem with doing puzzles. 
funky type of opening. It doesn't mean it's not effective, but we shall see how the game goes, if they're actually going to make another move or not. It's really hard to get long play games online, it's, it's so weird. I'm going to develop the knight, just attacking the pawn, it's got no protection at the moment. So keeping it all dirt simple, and probably expecting the opponent to not even continue in the game because it's too long or they are making moves okay so we'll bring the knight out supporting the pawn also developing the knight so we've currently got two knights out and we're black and they spent a lot of time just pushing three pawns they've only got one minor piece developed so it is a negative we could take this pawn i'm just envisaging the queen coming here so they'll end up getting this pawn anyway I'll show you what I mean so we'll take the pawn the queen comes here we could look to defend it but then this pawn attacks then we have to move the knight so they eventually still do get the pawn anyway so it's classed as like a poison pawn you know when you take that pawn because you don't you're not winning you know you're equalizing but does it improve your position because I'm having to go backwards with the knight so he's doing that before the queens come here so we do actually win a tempo and we're plus one whereas if they'd have brought the queen here like I said then they would have won a tempo and they would have got it back so the knight's coming down looking to do maybe the fried liver by itself just going to squeeze in the gap here and attack the king put some pressure onto the king So the pawn has come down, so we can bring the pawn here, baiting some more pawns if we want to. I'm going to bait some more pawns, either this one or this one. Delays them, did, um, basically manoeuvring other pieces, developing other pieces if you're baiting the pawns. Yes, so that's fine. We can live with that. And just bring the bishop back. So now we've developed three pieces. And the opponents developed pawns it's not saying it's weak it's just like a, maybe a bit of a positive our knight can jump into this space here or it could have jumped backwards but i prefer to move forwards seeing as there's no other pawns that can challenge it maybe this bishop is looking to do some type of x-ray type thing we can support the knight with the pawn here so knight on the rim is usually dim but it's only dim if like pawns can get at it really or if it's trapped somehow, but really it doesn't look like it's going to be majorly trapped in any way. Bishops come out, that's where bishop, is it looking to do this at some point? Not too sure. But anyway, in the meantime, we'll go and castle, king safety. So we've got the key thing, they're moving fast now, so I think they're looking to trap our uh, knight. So again, I'm going to bring the bishop through here and put a check on the king to make up for an exchange at this point. So maybe it's time to push our pawn up so that we give space for our knight to come back out and come round again. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece, we can go and attack the knight, but it's going to be on this pawn. I suppose we can open up here. Lots of things to think about at this moment. I think, you know what, I'm going to give my knight some space to come back around if we're allowed to this pawn doesn't have any protection on it and the bishop's taken i'm going to say i'm going to taken the bait smaller piece attacking a higher piece now allowing our bishop to get out into the game their king is very airy so we could look to basically touch on it the reason why i didn't go there is because simply they're just going to push the pawn so if we just ignore the fact that their king is airy and mobilize our pieces because they're greedy much with a bishop attack, they're going to have to move the bishop again, probably moving it here. Gives us space to bring the rook here. If they don't move the bishop, which I think they will move the bishop, rook's got to check on the king. Bishop's got this diagonal here, so it's going to make the king even more airy. And we've got the bishop with a diagonal here if it moves to this square. 
So there's a whole heap of stuff going on. Their bishop has created a nice little channel towards their king. Greedy munching bishop. So he's actually taken. So we could take with the queen. But I'm actually going to put a check on the king first. Can the bishop go back and defend? No. So we'll put the check on like we said. And we can freely take here. The king can't go back because the bishop's blocking that area. So it has to go here. So when the queen comes in, can put a check on the king, on the airy king. All from the fact of the greedy munching bishop. The knight can go in front, so I'm just observing actually, the knight can go in front. We can hit it with the pawn, pawn takes, but obviously we're not going to do that, we'll just take, take the bishop because the knight can't take the queen because the rook has got the pin through to the um, king. So as I mentioned right at the very start, it's probably going to be a player that just doesn't make any moves. <laughs> um, they were doing quite well up to this point, moving speed wise now it looks like they're not going to make any moves at all yep so the knight does move so like we said we can take the queen the queen is all sorry take the bishop Queen is also on the rook as well. So there's a lot of things happening here. Potentially the pawn attacking. Obviously this pawn can take. So maybe that won't happen. Maybe the bishop comes out to put pressure onto the knight. They'll be looking to push this pawn to support the knight. So there's still a lot of things positive for our position. So we can take the rook, which is the higher piece. Gives access to the king potential trade-off of the queens or maybe a simple knight block bishop can take if we need to so none of that has happened so let's see which move is going to be best i think the queen putting a check on is going to be better so we'll put the check on checks first because he's trying to escape his king we did say the knight's probably coming here Maybe an exchange of the queens, maybe it takes, queen takes, queen takes. Or do we get the knight involved as well? I think we get the knight involved. Let's get the team involved. Okay, so three pieces hitting there now. This knight can't do anything at the moment. They might do something drastic and move the king out of the way because of the annoying pin. Do, 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 do. Can't necessarily bring that because the knight will take. So the bishop's getting into the frame. So let's take with the knight. He's got space. He's moved the bishop so his king can move here. But the knight is now blocking that area. Alright, so the knight can move anywhere, so basically taking taking this knight, because we've got to check with the queen. And then the rook's got to check on the king as well, or well, not anymore. Do have a space here for the queen to come, and that's probably checkmate, because the king doesn't have anywhere to go. Nothing else is blocking that area. So yeah, checkmate. Enjoyed that game. That was really quite nice. Again, practicing the answer process, looking at the targeting around the king area. And the opponent had a quirky opening style, but you can't, you know, you can't basically throw away 
their opening style because I've seen games like that where they do come out and surprise you. Um, a little bit like Lazy Man's Chess or whatever it is, but it does work. It is effective. Um, if they're working their team together and they're trapping your pieces with the pawns and stuff like that, so you have to be very mindful when you see the pawn pushing down. If they're trapping your pieces, get your pieces working together as best possible. You should be okay at that point. 